you gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. It's time to get it moving, y'all. Step up your game. You gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. Motivate. Get up and keep moving. Celebrate this life is no one. And welcome back to yet another review by Zombie. In today's review, we're taking a look at Unicorn Vapors. That's right, we're going to check out three from Unicorn Vapors. And, um, well, just stick around to the after credits. You don't want to miss that. So anyways, you know how we roll, peeps. We're going to go take a look at their website, check out some pricing information, and we're going to come back and have us a big vape. Before we go, though, let's have a big vape right now. And welcome to the brief online tutorial for Unicorn Vapors. Now let's check out their main website. You can find Unicorn Vapors at unicornvapors.com. Yes, I'm 18 or over. And this is their main website, their main page. You have a few different categories to check out here. Mainly we'll be looking at their juice pricing, but this is the home of the Mythos Mod, so let's take a look at that real quick. The Mythos Mods is a hybrid style mod that's made exclusively by Unicorn Vapors. And you can go to their website if you want to get one of those, which I highly recommend, even though I personally don't have one. It's a little bit out of my price range at the time, but in the future, perhaps I might pick one up. Now let's check out their e-juice. The e-juice category is basically candy, desserts, drinks, fruits, menthols, signature flavors, and tobacco flavors. So we basically came here to get pricing. So let's take a look at their most popular and my, my personal favorite that they make, Unicorn Custard. Now if you want to get a 15 ml bottle that starts out at $7.50. And yes, this is diet free. Just wanted to point that out. 30 mils run at $13.50. 50 mils go up to $21. And of course, this is one of the few vendors online that you can get a 120 mil bottle for 50 bucks, which is an extraordinary deal. Now, normally, whenever I make a purchase of vanilla custard, it's usually for the 50 mil takes me about a month to get through because of all the reviews and vaping that I do but it's truly one of the best custards out there and of course your nick levels you can get from 0 to 30 as it's shown on the screen they do have a couple other categories that I want to point out if you're a beginner vapor or know, some, know somebody <laughs> nor somebody know somebody that's wanting to get into vaping, they carry Kanger Evod starter kits, which are really good. Um, and those are $34.99. Now the other thing that they carry that I want to point out, now this stuff works too, because I've had a bit of vapor claim before. It uh, will get rid of your gunk buildup um, and remove all that unwanted stuff from like your atomizers, your mods, Places that you can't get into, little nooks and crannies. So that goes for $9.99 for one ounce of it. And that'll do it for the brief online tutorial for Unicorn Vapors. Now, back to the review. Now that we back from the online tutorial, just want to point out, yeah, I got these for free, but... 
I, I don't know whether or not they wanted me to review them or not, so I'm going to review them anyways. These were sent to me in these little 5 mil bottles um, with an order that I put in over my birthday. Uh, so, I'm not sure she was if, if Susan, one of the owners of Unicorn Vapors, was trying to hint that she wanted me to do a review of Unicorn Vapors. So, Susan, whether you like it or not, I'm doing a review. So, the first one we're going to look at is Tiger's Blood. And you see the label there. It's got their unicorn symbol. Very nice. And then, of course, the Nick strengths are listed on the label. These all came in 6 milligram. And there's their website. On the sides, it has product contains nicotine. Please keep away from children and pets. And then on the other side, it has ingredients. Vegetable glycerin, propylene glycol, and natural indoor. Uh kind of cuts it off right there, but I know what they were talking about, so flavorings. But this is Tiger's Blood. And we're gonna vape that on my new Stingray X, which is beautiful. And I've got that at 18 650 mode. And we're gonna vape it in the 3D dripper, which is made by Adam Mixani, I think I'm saying that correctly, and I have it dual coiled to uh, about 0.7 ohms, roughly. All right, so let's give this Tiger's blood a big vape. Huh? Hmm. Hey, this is really good. Um, it's it's basically a strawberry, watermelon, coconut, and I can't taste the watermelon. I like this beep. I really enjoy it, but the dominate, the, the, the dominate, the overall that I'm getting from it. It is a strawberry and a little bit of coconut. And now I've had these for uh, about a month and a half. So I've let them steep. And I've let them steep naturally too. So no ultrasonic clean or anything. But I've got one of those coming. So I'll be able to steep things real quick now. Um, flavor profile on this. This is a really good enjoyable vape. Um... Is all day vape worthy? Yes. Flavor profile, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Throat hit. Doesn't really have any kind of throat hit to it. So I'm going to have to give it a little bit less than mild. And that's the kind of vape that I enjoy. Um, vapor production, I give it a 9 out of 10. And for those that need to know what the PGVG is, it's a 40-60. So that's a 40 PG, 60 VG. Blueberry muffin. Now, I like blueberry vapes. And I've not had too many muffin type vapes before. However, I have it loaded in my uh, little Igo T. Got a little Pyrex copper drip tip happening here. On a KTS in the 18500 mode, which is kind of weird, I know. But uh, I have it dual microcoiled to uh, about this. It's about 0 0.9, between 0 0.9 and 1 ohm. Let's do it to it. Oh, yeah. Now, bam. This is a killer vape. Blueberry muffin. 
Woo! I'm definitely getting blueberry, and I am definitely getting what I would consider to be muffin. So this is definitely a kick-ass bait. Flavor profile on this, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Now, the, uh, the throat hit. Hmm. Throat hit is there, but it's mild. So I have to give it a 6 out of 10. And a vapor production, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 too because it's very consistent and it's very good. It's uh, crunch berries. See that clear there. There we go. And I got to tell you, smelling the crunch berries, I don't know. I just, I can't. The crunch berries, it, it just doesn't smell like crunch berries, but it smells pleasant. However, I've got it loaded on my Bobo, <laughs> and it's in my IgoW, which I have what I call Mega Micro Cold, which is at 1.5 ohms. So we're going to fire this at 15 watts. And I have it uh, cotton wick. That's what I do all my wicks with on my drippers is cotton. And the other thing that I do with my drippers is that I have them all drilled out to uh, 2 millimeters. I like plenty of airflow. So let's have a bait. Now, does this remind me of anything? Yeah. It's not, it's not like cat with crunch berries, no. But it does, it does kind of fall with the, um, what is that cereal that I used to get when I was a boy? My mom used to get it because it was the affordable version of Captain Crunch Berries. Can't think of what it was called though. It comes in a plastic bag. It doesn't come in a box. But it tastes like that Crunch Berries. Now I'm not saying that this is a generic juice. No, no, no. This is awesome for what it is. Yeah. Um, flavor profile on this one. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It, it, you know, it's great, but it's not as good as the blueberry muffin was. Now, the uh, the throw hit on this one is mild as well, so I'll give that a 6 out of 10. In the big production, I'll give that a 9 out of 10 as well. So, that was 3 from Unicorn Vapors, which, here's their card. I forgot to show that at the beginning there. Get that to clear up there. Nah, it's not wanting to clear up. Hmm, there we go. You can contact them at unicornvapors at gmail.com too. And they are based out of, I guess that's, uh, what is that? Piano or Pl Plano, Texas? Plano, Texas? Hell, I don't know. <laughs> uh, all I know is they got some killer juice. And uh, if you fancy trying one out for yourself, you can go along to unicornvapors.com. You can also check them out on Facebook, which I'll have right up here. And Susan and Will, thanks for sending these on to me. So I hope you don't mind that I did a review, but hey, that's what I do. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe to my YouTube and as always, my peeps and peepettes, happy vaping. Oh, but wait, there's more. Ah, I told you to stay for after the credits, and you did. So now we're going to do a bonus review. And what might that be, Zombill? I know everybody wants to know. 
Well, <laughs> I know I'm going to catch hell for this, okay? But Unicorn Vapors happens to have my all-time favorite vanilla custard. That's right. Out of all the vanilla custards that I vape from here in the United States to cross places in the world that make some vanilla custards that are killer. But the one that stands out the best out of all of them is Unicorn Custard. Unicorn Custard. It's dynamite. And every time I order it, I order a big 50 mil bottle. Well, I think I'm going to have to up that to 120 mils because I'm going through this stuff faster and faster every time. So let's have a vape, huh? And I've got this thing, I've got this thing low, really super low arms. Um, the other day I was messing around, I said, hey, let's do a, let's do one of those parallel dual coil builds where it's just running two wires through the center post to where there's no break to where you got one and one. So basically that's what it looks like. That's five wraps which comes out to be ten wraps on each side because they're parallel so in essence what you get is is you get lots of chuck and vapor and I messed up I had a glass top on this thing damn thing got too hot shattered had little bits of glass all throughout my Addy. It was it was pretty hilarious. I wish I would have got it on video, but so I had to switch back to my IGW cap. So, anyways, this is Unicorn Custard by Unicorn Vapors, and I have that on my Mirandus mod, which is brass. You can see it's got a hell of a patina from me holding it all the time. So, let's have a vape. Try that again. Mm. One more time. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this is a point two ohm resistance. I have a few builds like that now for some of my favorite juices. Flavor profile, 10 out of 10. Throat hit, hmm, it's about a mild, 6 out of 10. In baby production, <laughs> 10 plus out of 10. So I'm glad you stuck around for the bonus review. So I'm going to send you out with a big cloud. <laughs>